Hey everybody, Jason Hamachek here with EarthCore Industries and Isokern Fireplaces at our wonderful research and development lab and manufacturing facility in Chesapeake, Virginia. Today I'm standing in front of our Maximus Linear Fireplace Series. This is our 10-foot version with the open front. And we're going to be talking today about how to install the brand new proprietary XFIN Tiso mechanical venting system that we've developed for this fireplace. We launched this fireplace series a few years ago and used a ton of customer feedback to make a great product even better. Two of the key features that we've improved upon are the installation process using the x Ventiso control board and the Molex quick connectors. And the fan that we are using is a lot quieter than the original version. So come along with me as we install the new x Ventiso mechanical venting system by EarthCore. The new proprietary x Ventiso mechanical draft system has four main components that work in conjunction with our E-VKN quick fire ignition system. Those components are the mechanical fan, an automatic damper, a draft probe that goes inside the chimney system, and they all get connected to the x Ventiso control board. This can be mounted in the wall cavity like you see here with our quick fire ignition or in an attic that has accessibility when you receive the x Ventiso draft system, you'll have four boxes that show up on one pallet. The first box contains a 30-foot quick connect cable attached to the mechanical damper that's going to be in line of the flue system. The second box is your control board. That's going to come with the physical board, a quick start guide, and a bag of materials containing the vent probe going into the chimney, the room probe that's going into the wall that the room the fireplace is in, 30 feet of silicone tubing, and a wiring harness connecting the control board to the E-VKN. In the third box, you'll find the fan, 30 feet of quick connect cable, the mechanical shutoff or service disconnect, along with the mounting bracket and the hardware to mount this bracket to the fan itself. And lastly, the fourth box will have the rain collar that we attach to the fan and that will help keep any elements or rain from coming into that fan system and dripping down your foot. In addition to the x Ventiso components we just went over, you will need the E-VKN, quick fire ignition. In this box you'll find the valve and the control board, the pilot assembly, remote, two gas fittings, a damper clamp, and the batteries for that remote. So now that we've unboxed all the components, it's time to put them all together. As you can see, we've already attached the EcoSteel downdraft diverter and anchor plate to the fireplace. Next, we want to install the draft probe into the actual pipe stack uh, of the first section of pipe that's going to be attached to that anchor plate. To do this, you want to make sure that the vent probe is going into the pipe at the 12 inch mark. You're gonna use two self-tapping metal screws to secure that probe into the actual pipe. Next, we're going to install the inline damper system. This secures uh, tightly onto one section of pipe in the flue run. You wanna do this in the attic cavity uh, where you would have access uh, for maintenance or whatnot in the future. You'll find that the uh, damper comes with a clamp system located around it, and on the top flange, it's actually another section of B-vent pipe. So the next additional pipe that you put on securely fits and snaps in place, just like it would in the normal flue run. To get this uh, damper ready for installation, you're going to want to undo the bottom clamp and place the damper over the B-vent pipe. Once secured and seated fully onto that pipe, you can simply come back and relatch that clamp, getting ready for your next section of pipe to be installed. Now we're on to installing the fan system onto your last section of pipe. When we get up on top of the chase, we're going to notice that the last section of pipe is going to penetrate that chase 
and we're going to have to secure that fan directly to it. The mounting bracket that comes with your fan has five different screws located in somewhat of a star pattern. That will match up beautifully with the pattern that's on the fan. This flange and mounting bracket fits securely inside of the EcoSteel B-Vent pipe that will be terminating at the top of the chase. It's easiest to secure this bracket on the ground prior to lifting the fan up to the roof. If you notice, when we talked about that star pattern, there's one screw that doesn't line up with the others. That hole is going to be located right where the hinge of the fan bracket is. To get to the underside of that bracket, you're simply going to undo the clips on either side of the fan and lift that bracket up. This will give you easy access to attach your washers, lock washers, and nuts to secure this bracket in place. With your mounting bracket attached, simply go to the bag that's in the actual box for the fan and find one washer, one lock washer, and one nut for each one of the screw posts. Use a 7 8 socket to tighten those down prior to installation. With the mounting bracket securely in place, it's time to lower this down and re-secure the fan. Now the fan is ready for mounting on top of the chimney. We're now on set to show you what we built here to simulate a true home build, uh, where you have kind of the roof line, a chase built for the, the flue system to run through, and what would be kind of the ceiling into the attic cavity. I'm going to bring the damper uh, with me into the attic space and show you how to install each section of pipe as we go. Once your fan is installed, you're going to want to make sure that above the chase pan provided by others, you secure your B-Vent storm collar. With the storm collar in place, you can then go to attaching your rain collar for the fan. This simply fits on the top of the fan and with a Phillips head screwdriver, you can secure the hose clamp on the back. With that, the fan installation would be complete. And now we'll go down and show you how all the Molex connections hook together to the X Ventiso box. It's time to install the room probe that will measure the pressure differential in the room comparative to the chimney pipe. To do this, you're going to want to have a junction box somewhere in the room. I recommend putting this behind either a piece of art or a television hanging above the fireplace. So to do this, you have to take your probe, attach your tubing to it, and measure out that tubing to the actual X Ventiso control board. We'll do that now.
Now that we have the fan and damper hooked up, it's time to hook up the wiring. This is where the magic of the Xventiso ease of installation comes in. These wiring harnesses are not only color coded, but they're individual for each component. The damper is blue and has a four prong connection that only connects with the damper located in the Xventiso box. Coming off the Xventiso box for the fan is another connection with three connectors. That hooks up just as easily. With that, the fan and the damper are all completely connected. The last connections we need to make are from the draft probes in the room and the stack, and the last wiring harness label, labeled control, which connects the x Ventiso control board to the E-VKN control board. In order to do this, we want to feed the wiring harness from the X-Ventiso in to the E-VKN. We're going to connect that wiring harness using the Molex connector. Once that's connected, you're going to use the black and red wire connection in the control board to the pocket X13. The green and white wire is going to connect to the terminal X4. Once those are hooked up, you can coil up your wire and secure it inside the E-VKN. From there, we're going to take the room probe, which is the shorter cord on my end, and hook it up to the bottom connection on the left side of the X Ventiso labeled room. The longer connection in my case was attached to the stack. We're going to take that tube and connect it to the stack to the probe labeled flu. With that all said and done, all we need to do is incorporate power, program the remote, and we can test for spark. So the next step is we want to test the system before we leave that job site. So, with everything hooked up into the wall, we want to install the batteries into the remote. Put the cover back on and hit the power button on your remote. You'll see the ambient temperature for the room showing up. Once you put the power push the power button, go to your option selector until you come to what looks like a hand pointing. It should say off. Just hit the up button and the up arrow will turn that on. Scroll back through till you get to the high and the fire icon on the remote. Turn it off. Your remote is now programmed with the auxiliary function active, so when we plug the controller up to temporary power, we'll be able to test functionality. Simply take an extension cord and hook it in to the power coming off your control board. You're going to press this red button. You're going to hear a series of beeps. Turn the remote on, and you hear another series of beeps. Turn the remote off. That will turn the system down. Now, we want to hook the X Ventiso up to temporary power, which we've already installed right here. Let's get that set up right now and try to walk through the whole system to ensure that before we leave that job site, the fan is turning on, the damper's engaging, it's proving draft and sending a signal back to the E-VKN to start the spark sequence for the pilot and ignite the burner. After we've gotten our remote synced with the actual control board here, you want to make sure that your pilot assembly is run from the inside of the firebox to the control board and the valve assembly. Once this is done and you've hooked up to temporary power, we've got the status saying off to the x Ventiso and the uh, control board sync to the remote, all we're gonna do is simply press the on button. If this is all hooked up correctly, we're gonna hear the fan engage, the damper's gonna open, we're gonna have a little bit of a pause, and then we should hear that igniter start sparking. I hear the fan. The damper's open, and the status says starting. All we're waiting for is the click of that spark. The 
There it is. We know the only thing left in the equation is to add a little bit of gas. So now take a journey as we fast forward. Imagine this fireplace completely covered up with drywall and ready for a homeowner to move in. All we have to do is simply press this on button to see a gorgeous flame. This burner has been hooked up by a licensed professional and all the instructions from our installation manual have been followed in the installation of not only the fireplace, but the Xventiso new proprietary venting system. So thank you very much, and we appreciate you watching this video to learn how easy, convenient, and quiet this new system is to install.